when you talk to the president afterwards, is he frustrated that he wasn't able to sort of deliver the speech as he intended? Look, please don't jump. Folks, the extreme... I mean, look, look, the president, from my view, and I think some of your colleagues uh, have written about this, it was a fiery speech. It was a deeply, deeply um, uh, impactful speech. Uh, you heard how the crowd reacted to the speech. Uh, it was a speech that I think landed in a way that talked about how this president and his entire administration is going to fight for women. And that is also important. Look. We'll teach Donald Trump a valuable lesson. Don't mess with the women in America unless you want to get the benefit. There are about 800 gotaways at the border every day, 96,000 since October 1st. Does President Biden want to locate these folks who have disappeared into this country to parts unknown? So here's what I will say is that um, I want to deal with what's going on at the border. He's taking this very seriously. And DHS is maximizing. They are maximizing its enforcement efforts, doing what we can right, at the border. DHS is doing, maximizing their process, doing what they can at the border. But we need help, right? We need Congress to actually act and uh, do their part. I cannot speak to the 8,000 uh, 8, number you just provided to me. What I can speak to is what we're trying to do on the policy side and the funding side uh, to make sure what we, the Border Patrol, uh, the law enforcement on the ground have what they need. Just wanted to get an updated read on uh, inflation impact of the Red Sea attacks. I wonder if the White House has seen anything in the data that you may concern. So I, you've been asked about this a couple of times. I think uh, the Admiral may have been asked about this yesterday as well. Look, we're, these are things that we're obviously going to continue to monitor. Uh, we have not seen um, any uh, any uh, impacts. Our national security team and obviously our economic team are going to continue to keep a close eye on this, on, on the evolving situation situation in the Red Sea. Uh, the Department of Transportation and the Navy are in close communication with ocean shippers, and insurers, industry, and other stakeholders, and we're taking steps to ensure uh, shipping in the Red Sea is un un unobstructed. So that is something that we're certainly going to continue to monitor and keep an eye on. Thank you, Kareem. Uh, this week, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer called for a crackdown on Zinn nicotine pouches, saying that companies seem to set their sights on young kids, teenagers, and even lower, and use social media to hook them. Does the administration believe there should be a crackdown on Zinn? Uh, that's something for FDA to speak to. I can't speak to that from here. I've not seen that report, so I would refer to the FDA specifically. Okay. All right. Hello. Good afternoon. Hi. Hi, Weisha. Oh, that's right. We are a bit early 